What up guys, Manger here with the next Let's Make with RPG Maker VX Ace. In this one, it's going to be a beginner's level tutorial on how to make a door. And we're going to take this little cabby shack into this little crappy interior. Nothing special, it's just going to be a door that opens and you walk through it. And it moves you. First thing you want to do when you make an event, you always want to name them you'll not know the importance of it until you hit the downside that's the fault of it but you want to get in the habit of naming your events so let's call this Evan's house I don't know why I choose the name Evan it's just the one I wanted you want to make sure the walking animation is turned off or else it's going to be funny you also want to be a same as character you want to be player touch you can do action button what that will do is you to force the player to hit enter on the door to be able to enter the, the house or you can just do player touch, he'll walk right into it and he'll just open it up without you having any interaction. Do you want to go to down here to explanation mark, door, whichever one, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just best to do door one because uh, these are the basic doors. And choose whichever one pleases you. Then you want to go over here. This is the meat of the events. This is where all your event stuff is going. So first thing you want to do is have the sound effects play when he actually opens the door, which for this um, scenario we're going to use open one and then set move root this one is the meat of the whole thing you do want to keep the option set for set wait for completion and then this one be due to how um, interbrain made the animations it's going to be all about the turning is how you animate the door it's going to turn left I'd highly recommend setting wait because if you don't set wait, the door's going to open so fast you don't even notice it. You can do wait two frames, three frames, however you see it fit, but I find it most natural at three frames. So let's turn left, turn right, and then turn up. And that's all you need for here. And then you're going to want to play the sound effect of move. What this the move does is it just, it's audio feedback to the player that he's actually switching to a new map is all that does and then right here you want to transfer the player to the new map which would be the interior and place it wherever you want right there is just a good default location in my opinion and and everything's right there as normal hit apply boom yeah I just made a door and you move maps. But you can't go back. So let's go ahead and fix that. Go in here. And the one, this one's going to be a very f easy animation. Um, player touch. You want to make sure it's player touch. And exit. This one's going to be even easier than the other one. You want to do play sound effect. Move. And then transfer player back here right there boom and that's seriously all that's required you go up you transfer map and then you leave voila now I'm gonna, here's part two of the video this one is if you want to make it look a little fancier Make it have that much extra little bit of polish. Um, where the player, you actually visually see the player walk through the door. How you would do that is after you do the sound effect of move, you want to um, set move root with the target as the player. Oh, and this is why you want to name events too. Because here you can see you're targeting Evan's house. Otherwise, you see event 01, event 02, event 03. To the point of you have no idea what they are. So you have to go to the other event and see what number it is. Or you can just name them and you'll know exactly which one it is. It's just so much easier. So you want to choose the player and then move up. Which actually, come to think of it, that's not going to work. Because as you can see here, you go up but he didn't move up. And that actually broke the event. So you, to prevent that from happening, you want to go to this event right here, the move room. After the turn up, you want to have it through turn to on. That what that will allow for to happen is for the player to walk through the door, which is what you're going to want to do. Otherwise, it'll freeze just like it did. So now if you now if you go back, 
to the here and play it. When you go through, you'll see him actually walk through the door. But in my opinion, that's not polished enough. So, how can we make it polished even further? The player walked into the door, stopped, then it faded. That's not my desired effect because it just looks kind of choppy. How you do that is you, in here you want to turn fade to none. You don't want any fade right there. So right now if you left it as is, he would just walk there, then all of a sudden the screen changes he's inside the house, which is not the desired effect either. So how I walk, work around that is above the set move root of the player, you want to tint the screen to negative 128 within a 30, set, 30 frames. Um, and do not wait for completion or else it's going to fade out, out a little bit. He's going to walk through, then it's going to finish fading. That's what you want. You want him to be walking as it fades. That's just how you start the fade. And then after the move route, before the transfer, you're going to manually fade out what that would normally do. And then after the transfer player, you want to tint the screen back to default and take one frame. So it's quickly done. You don't want it to wait for you. Did I say wait for completion? No. Eh, you don't need to worry about that. But then fade in screen. That's manually fading out and in the screen. So it looks just like it did before except you have this initial tint screen here. So when you come back to the game, it'll start fading out before you transfer the map as he's walking. That, in my opinion, is even more polished than it was earlier. It, oh, whoops. If you want, you could also come in here and instead of having it at 30 frames, you could also have it at 15. 50, let's see how that, we can check how that work, looks. It's all up to you. Because earlier you still saw him stop, which is not the desired effect. Which, that, on my opinion, is too fast, but from here you can just toy around and do what you need to do with it. Anyways, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will be coming out with more videos later. I hope you liked it, and enjoy.